Hello, it is Lord Slar here, bringing you a new mini-series of videos on my channel which will be about politics in Doctor Who. Recently, there's been a lot of discussion about the role of political themes and agendas in Doctor Who, some of it more valid than others, so I thought now would be a good time to go back and look at some of the approaches towards political issues in Doctor Who over the years. Today we are starting with Boomtown. I know this might seem an odd one to start with, as it's a pretty obscure episode and it's hardly going that far back in Doctor Who's history, but this is one I've actually wanted to talk about for a while, as I feel it's very relevant to this discussion and handles the issues it brings to light in quite a good way. Of course we'll be covering classic episodes and episodes where politics are handled badly in the future, but I think it's good to start on a more positive note, so we have something to measure the stories we'll discuss in the future too. With all that said, let's get into it. Boomtown handles the issue of whether it is morally right to send somebody back to be put on trial where they come from, if it could lead to them being handed the death sentence, as it could be said that in a way you are at that point as good as killing them yourself. This was very much a point of contention in the UK during this era in which it was made, as the government was making moves to deport various criminals and terrorists who put on trial back in their own countries as they could not be tried in the UK with figures such as Abu Qatar being in this category. These people would appeal to the European Court of Human Rights, which forbades deportation if it could lead to the person being endangered, as the countries where they come from would want to take them into custody and put them on trial, and they of course have the death sentence as a possible punishment. This is a serious issue, and is treated as such by the writing. It gives a balanced view of the debate, fairly raising points both sides have to offer without skewing it in favour of either. In the story, the Sylvine the Doctor wants to take back to her own planet will be killed as a punishment for her crimes, which is reflecting what I just discussed. The morality of taking her to a death is something that is clearly difficult for the Doctor, as he knows he'd be taking her to a death, and this is highlighted by the part of the episode where she asks as a last wish to be taken out for dinner. And it's raising the point in the viewer's mind that could you stomach sitting face to face over dinner with a person who you'd be sending to their deaths even though you're not actually doing it yourself? It's very strong writing in that respect, because rather than telling the audience what to think, it uses events in the story to raise points in the viewer's mind to get them to think about it and to come to their own conclusions. Of course, the other side of the argument is represented too. The Doctor doesn't want to take her, but feels as though she poses a danger to Earth, which could be seen by the way she's willing to kill and destroy just to get off the planet. It shows that even though it may not be moral to kill them, perhaps it is even less moral to let them stay and risk harming innocent people. Again, the episode does a good job at implying this rather than outright stating it, getting the viewer to think about the issue at hand and come to their own conclusions. The episode also does a good job of humanising the Slovene as well. She's shown not just to be a monster, with the way she spares the journalist at the beginning when she's reminded of how she lost her family in the previous Slovene story. This is needed as it's important to show that these dangerous and evil people are still people too. Perhaps a better decision about their fate can be made if they're humanised in our minds. Of course, the Doctor points out that this one act of mercy is no way representative of her general behaviour and in no way makes up for any of it, which too is important to remember. But again, this shows the writing bringing nuance to all aspects of this thorny issue, which makes it very effective in the way it gets the viewer to think about it. I am, however, somewhat divided on what I think of how it ends. If you don't know, through the power of the TARDIS and the Time Vortex, the Slovene is de-aged back to the point where she is just an egg, hence having a second chance at life. However, this is quite obviously not a realistic idea for the issue it was handling, and can seem a bit of a cop-out as it manages to avoid answering all of the questions that it posed throughout the episode. However, perhaps this is actually a good thing, as the aim of the episode was clearly to encourage viewers to take a nuanced view of this particular issue, and to think about it for themselves. The episode does a good job not to enforce a viewpoint or to tell people what to think, but rather to get people to think. This is how political themes are best handled in Doctor Who, or in TV shows in general even. While there is something to be said about raising more direct political points through the entertainment medium, it can often come across as a bit preachy or more like propaganda. Getting people to actually think about an issue in the way this episode achieves is actually quite important. It doesn't just reinforce a particular viewpoint, but rather gives way to a discussion, which does a lot more for both the episode in terms of its quality of writing, as well as for the political discourse than the more simplistic approach to politics I have. This is why I wanted to discuss Boomtown first, as it approaches political issues in a more stimulating and interesting way than other Doctor Who episodes in my view, and I think this is the standard through which we should hold episodes of Doctor Who which contains political themes too. It's a shame that this episode isn't well remembered, as while it may not exactly be the best Doctor Who story ever, it's extremely well written and thought provoking. This is how politics in Doctor Who should be. With all that in mind, I shall be continuing this look at politics in Doctor Who at some point soon, and evaluate the way in which another story handles this type of theme. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope this series can perhaps help bring some more context and informed discussion to the place of politics in Doctor Who. Thanks for watching.